What's up everyone, this is Todd Hazelton with Techno Buffalo. Today we're checking out the ASUS Transformer Pad Infinity, the latest from ASUS. And an ASUS Transformer Pad mobile dock. You've already seen this, but it works with this, so we'll uh, go over both. First, a quick unboxing, then we'll go over some of the features. Here's the tablet itself. It's nearly indistinguishable from the Transformer Prime. Um, I'll show you the differences in just a second, but it looks really pretty much the same except for this plastic bar here, and that's just to make sure that the GPS chip works this time. There were issues with the Transformer Prime. Inside the box we have screen wipe pad. I should probably use that already. Charging cables and nothing else. Documents are in this little packet here. Information about ASUS tablets, warranty card, and the user manual. Alright, let's compare it real quick to the Transformer Prime and then we'll go into some, into some of the features. Okay, so I have them both here. Which one is which? Can you tell? I guess I sort of cheated since I already told you about that plastic bar, but here is the new Pad Infinity and here's the Transformer Prime behind it. Super, super similar, but if we go through the features here, you can see this is the Infinity on the bottom. The headphone jack is moved. There's an HDMI port, uh, HDMI out rather, right there. Uh, micro SD card slots, similar places there. And then you can see here that the, these have swapped the actual HDMI outs, and then there's the volume controls on the old Transformer Prime or on the side, but they're now on this one on the top. Kind of hard to see here, but those are them right there. And the power button has changed slightly. You can see it's slightly bigger, kind of easier to tap. And nothing on the right side this time. Before, that's where the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack was. And the bottom is the same. Okay, we've got it booted up here. It's foggy in New York. That's why it's a little dark in my apartment, and I have these lights going. Um, you can pretty much see the screens are really similar, but this is a lot sharper. It's a 1920 by 1200 pixel resolution, so even on the desktop here, it's kind of hard to see uh, any changes, but once you start opening up games, you can really notice that things start to get a lot more crisp. Again, this is powered by Tegra 3, so you get a bonus graphic boosts inside games. Alright, now we're playing GTA 3. We'll jump in. Graphics are awesome. I found they look actually really, really crisp on this screen uh, as opposed to the Transformer Prime. Sorry, I can't drive and talk at the same time. A lot of fun playing this. I also played Shadow Gun during my tests and T-Bone to Truck. So really great screen for gaming, for media, for everything else. There's also improvements here to the 8 megapixel camera on the back. It's got a f2.2 aperture, I believe, a single LED flash here. And the front-facing camera is now a 2 megapixel camera capable of HD video chat as opposed to the 1.3 on the Transformer Prime. So you're getting a better display, camera upgrades, and a, uh, a really a nice tablet experience, but I'm not so sure that it's worth the upgrade over the uh, original Prime if you already own it. So that's a quick look here. Let me quickly show you also how the pad dock works if you haven't seen it yet. It snaps in. like so and become sort of like a little notebook here it also doubles it adds up to six hours of battery life so it doubles as a charger for the actual tablet itself and also includes a single USB port a full SD card slot and of course the charging port down over here so that's a quick look at the pad infinity from ASUS this is Todd Hazelton with Techno Buffalo